Some breaking news this morning, and the child is in a critical condition. Three adults injured after a shooting in London. Yes, police arrived at the scene after gunshots were heard near a restaurant in Hackney. Well, an investigation has been launched. No arrests made as we're at this time, but obviously that investigation is well and truly underway. Well, joining us now is former Metropolitan Police Detective Peter Blexley. Good to see you this morning, Peter. I mean, this sounds absolutely horrific. What do we understand happened? Yes, well, early reports spoke about a motorcycle driving past quite possibly a restaurant and somebody on that motorcycle discharging a firearm firing a number of shots. That is yet to be confirmed, so it is a bit speculative at the moment. But what we do know is that at around 9.20pm last night, three adults and a child who was in a serious condition were shot, taken to hospital, and the Met Police inquiry is undoubtedly in full swing right now. And Peter... How does an investigation start to take place after something like this? What will police be looking at to try and catch the people responsible? Well, the primary motive for the senior investigating officer is find out who did this and arrest them. Because sadly, the criminal history books are littered with cases like this that end up with revenge, retribution, tit for tat. And it wouldn't surprise me although I sincerely hope this doesn't happen, that within a few hours or a day or two, we hear about yet another shooting, because these kind of cases are invariably linked to the illegal drugs industry, which, of course, is not regulated. It's a wild west out there. And what the police will not want is more shootings, more injuries, possibly loss of life. So the inquiry will be featuring on who did this, where are they? How can we catch them? Um, are you surprised that this has happened, Peter? I mean, um, a, a, a drive-by shooting like this and something which seems to a degree a bit in, indiscriminate, um, I mean, it, it sounds like something out of the United States rather than London. Well, actually, the drive-by shooting using motorcycles was kind of regrettably finessed in Colombia back in the early 1980s. And it was a, a very common way of criminals involved in the drugs industry of assassinating one another or politicians that wouldn't toe the line as they wanted it and so on and so forth. It is fortunately relatively rare in the UK, but this is why the police, the National Crime Agency and law enforcement across the country work tirelessly to try and take firearms off the streets. Because villains, in a case like this, and many others, have no regard for public safety. They are utterly reckless. They are untrained. And when they take firearms out onto the streets, innocent people so often get caught in the crossfire. Uh, Peter, I wanted to ask you, how prepared are, I mean, the officers who will be investigating this... Um, I mean, obviously, you're dealing with very dangerous people who are heavily armed. Are, are the police force or the Metropolitan Police geared up for, for the, your ordinary coppers rather than your, 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 your specialists, uh, armed officers? Are, are they geared up for this? Well, there will be detectives that are investigating this case, and I would suspect there'll be some pretty experienced, wise heads working on trying to find out who exactly is responsible. Although, of course, as we know, the Met has got a dreadful job at the moment in retaining experienced officers. So detectives will put the case together. It will be detectives gathering the CCTV. It will be detectives working with the forensic scientists who are examining the crime scene and piecing together all of that evidence. We may later on today see a senior uniform police officer that might do the press rounds, for example. I'm sure there will be a statement from the Met at some point. But essentially, detectives doing the detective work, and if they get to the point where there is a front door that needs to be smashed off its hinges, it will be specialist firearms officers who will then take that role on. OK. okay. Peter Blexley, good to see you this morning. Thank you very much indeed.